Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this problem without a calculator. So we have the square root of the square root of 25 minus the square root of 24. Now the square root of 25 is simply 5. So this will give us the square root of 5 minus the square root of 24. Now the square root of 24, this can be written as the square root of 6 times 4. Because remember, 24 is equal to 6 times 4. And now the square root of 4 is 2, right? So this would be the square root of 5 minus 2 times the square root of 6. The square root of 4 is 2, however, the square root of 6 is not a whole number. Now the square root of 6, well, 6 is equal to 3 times 2. So now we have the square root of 5 minus 2 times the square root of 3 times 2. And this is equal to the square root of 5 minus 2 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 2. And now 5, this is equal to 3 plus 2. So now we have the square root of 3 minus 2 root 3 times the square root of 2 and we have our plus 2 at the end. So now if we have something in the form a squared minus 2ab plus b squared this is equal to a minus b squared. So in this case, a is equal to the square root of 3, and b is equal to the square root of 2. So now we have the square root of 3 minus the square root of 2 squared. However, remember we have, we're taking the square root of this and the square root and the power of 2 cancel out. So all we're left with is simply the square root of 3 minus the square root of 2. So this is our answer. 